Hey guys, so I am doing my weekly sourdough baking today and I'm doing something a little bit different so I thought I would show you and I guess just film it and see if it turns out good. So um, normally what I do is I make my sourdough with a Dutch oven and so I have one of my loaves um, proofing in a bowl which I always do with, I guess I'll show you, with parchment paper. So I have the Dutch oven preheating in the oven so it gets hot and then um, I will bake this one probably first and then I proofed one just flat not in a bowl just on a cookie sheet here so it has gotten quite big so I'm, I'm curious I'm I really hope this turns out I don't know I don't quite know the science behind everything but the reason that you Yay. use a Dutch oven is for like moisture and like um, steam or whatever to like trap it in so with this since i'm not doing it in a dutch oven i heard you can just take like a bowl or a cup and fill it with ice and then put it in the oven somewhere and then that will create that like vapor and steam or whatever and then um get the product the way that you want it so i hope it works we are gonna try today what is it uh, yeah it's dough right now right yeah yeah we're gonna bake it yeah yeah so if you want the full video on how I make my sourdough, I'll link it in the description. But right now I'm putting my first loaf in the Dutch oven that was preheating at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and then baking it for 20 minutes with the lid on. And then after the 20 minutes, I take the lid off, bake it for another 15 minutes. After I take the bread out of the oven, I take the bread out of the Dutch oven and put it on a wire rack just to cool down before I put it in a bag to store it in the fridge. So I just took a small oven proof bowl and added some ice to it and then I'm gonna put that in the bottom rack of my oven and then the bread on the top rack and hopefully that will work. So this one, since I don't have to take a lid off of a Dutch oven, I just baked it at 450 degrees for the full 35 minutes. So it did burn a little bit on this side. It did rise, but I feel like not as much as this one did. Um, but I don't know, it looks good. I'm excited to try. Okay, so this one is also, I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds a lot harder. This one like squishier and you can hear it's like soft but crispy on the outside this one just seems hard and when it cools down i'm gonna cut it and then we'll see how it turned out so after this loaf cooled down a little bit it actually didn't feel as hard it felt pretty much the same as the other one but this is how the bread looks when it is cut so this bread looks awesome it doesn't look too hard at all i kind of want to cut into this one now too just to compare the same um dough with different styles of baking um i usually freeze the second one but i feel like we need to compare because this bread is so soft i had to use my electric bread knife because it just works better none of my other knives are sharp enough um, so I'll try to get a link down for you guys if you guys are interested in, in it because it does work very well. So just from cutting into both of them, this one has a little bit bigger air pockets, but pretty much the same. Sometimes that happens even when I do both loaves in the Dutch oven. So I don't know if that's because of the different ways of baking them. The Dutch oven loaf rose higher, but the one without a Dutch oven rose wider. So both of the breads turned out really good. I'm very happy that the one that I just baked on a baking sheet 
turned out as good as it did. It didn't look as pretty, but um, it tasted fine. It was nice and airy and soft and fluffy and it was really good and both of them like taste the same. It didn't rise as much, but it rose more this way because I guess it's not constricted to the size of the Dutch oven. Um, but yeah, overall, I am very happy with how it turned out. So yeah, now you know, you really don't have to use a Dutch oven for sourdough bread. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope you try it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs>